West Washington Drama Club presents Almost Maine. Welcome to Almost Maine, a town that's so far north, it's almost not in the United States. It's almost in Canada. And it almost doesn't exist because its residents never got around to getting organized. So it's just almost. One cold, clear Friday night in the middle of winter, while the northern lights hover in the sky above, Almost res residents find themselves falling in and out of love in the strangest ways. Emotions are bruised, hearts are broken, love is lost, found, and confounded, and life for the people of Almost Maine will never be the same. Almost Maine, it's love, but not quite. Pete, I... What? I'm just having a nice time, Pete. I'm glad, Jeanette. I always do, with you. I'm glad. And the stars are just awesome. And I didn't know you knew all that stuff. After all this time, I didn't know you knew all that. Well, it's not like I know that much about them. I mean, it's just some stuff my dad taught me. Pete? Yeah? I love you. Well, I love you too. Oh. Oh, are you cold? Do you want to go inside? No, no. I just want to sit like this. Close. I feel so close to you tonight. It's nice being close to you, Pete. It's safe. And you know, I could think of other ways of being close to you. But that's not, that's not the kind of close I'm talking about right now. I'm talking about like this. Right now. Right next to you. You know, right now, I think I'm about as close to you as I could possibly be. Well, not really. What? Well, when you think about it, you're not really close to me at all. You're actually about as far away from me as you can possibly be. When you think about it technically, if you think the Earth is round like a ball, like a snowball, then sitting next to someone is actually about as far away from them as you can be. See, if I'm here, and you're here, then that's far. Yeah. But now you're closer. Yeah. And closer. And closer. And closer. I thought I saw someone. I was about to go to bed and I saw you from my window. Can I help you? Is there something I can do for you? Oh, no. I'm just here to see the Northern Lights. Okay. It's just that it's awful late and you're in my yard. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know I was in anybody's yard. Well, you are, but it's okay. I just thought I was in a random field. Well, it used to be a potato farm. <coughs> well... You have a really big yard. <laughs> I guess. Well, I hope you don't mind that I'm here. I'll only be here tonight. I'll see them tonight, the Northern Lights, and then I'll be gone. I hope you don't mind. Is that your tent? <laughs> yes. You've pitched a tent in my so yard? So I have a place to sleep. I'm so sorry. I didn't think anybody lived here. I I'm hope you don't mind. Well, it's not that I mind. Do you mind? Well, I don't know if I mind, Oh, no, actually. I think you mind. No, it's not that I mind. No, you do. I'm so sorry. I didn't think you'd mind. I didn't think... You see, it says in your brochure... My brochure? ...that people from Maine wouldn't mind. It says that people from Maine are different, that they live life the way life should be, and that in a tradition as their northern brethren climbs, like Scandinavia, they'll just let complete strangers, like cross-country skiers or bikers or hikers, just camp out in their yards if you need to. They'll just let you do it. I'm a hiker. Is it true? 
Well, I guess, but... That they'll just let, can't you, let you camp out in your yards if you need to? Because I need to camp out. Because I'm where I need to be. This is the farthest I've ever traveled. And I'm from part of the country that's a little bit closer to things. I've never been this far north or east. And, oh, did you know that Maine is the only state that's attached to only one other state? Um. <laughs> it is. Feels like I'm at the end of the world. And here I am at the end of the world. And I have nowhere else to go. And I was counting on staying here. I mean, unless it's not true. I mean, is it true? Well, I don't know. Would you let a hiker who was where she needed to be just camp out in your yard for free? Well, I don't know. I mean, if a person really needed to? Well, I don't really, know. Really, really needed to? Well, if a person really needed to, sure, but... Oh, I'm so glad then. Thank you. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I just really need to be here and do this, so thanks. Sure. So, you're just here to see the Northern Lights, huh? Oh, no. What? My bag. Your what? My bag. I need that, please. Thank you. O okay. So you're just looking for a place to see the Northern Lights from? Yeah, just for tonight. Well, you know, you might not see them tonight because you never really know when oh, you're going to no. see Oh, no. I'll see them tonight because this is the right time. Solar activity is at an 11-year peak. And I'm in a good place. Your latitude is good. Well, as good as it can be under the circumstances. I was going to go to a higher latitude, like somewhere up in Canada, but then I forgot to renew my passport, so I couldn't. And Alaska is just too far away, so this is the closest I could get to in the lower 48 states that sees the Northern Lights regularly. So I took a plane, and I took a bus, and then I hiked to get here, so everything's in order. And what do you have a good sky for seeing it? It's so big and dark. And it's flat here. No trees in the way. Used to be a potato farm. Oh, well, makes for a big sky. Yep. So, you're a farmer? No, used to be a farm. I'm a repairman. Oh. Fix things. Oh. <laughs> what? You're not a lobster man? No. <laughs> I just thought that everybody from Maine was a lobster man and talked like in that funny way like they do in Maine, and you don't talk that way. Nope, you're not down east. You're up north, and this is how we talk up here pretty much. Oh. No relaxing. Oh, okay. Plus, the ocean's a couple hundred miles away. Be an awful long ride if I was a lobster man. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for letting me stay here and do this. I really appreciate it. It's important that I do it, and I've had a pretty rough go of things lately. So I just really appreciate your kindness and understanding. Oh. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm I'm just real sorry I did that. It's just that you seem sad, and I think I love you. What? Yeah, I saw you from my window, and I love you. Oh, um, well, that's really nice of you to say, but that's not what I'm here for. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm not here for that. I didn't think you were. I'm here to pay my respects to my husband. Oh, no. Yeah, my husband, Wes. I'm here to say goodbye by him because he died recently oh jeez. yeah on tuesday actually and the northern lights did you know this the northern lights are actually the torches that the recently departed carried to find a way home to heaven and see it takes us still three days to make its way home to heaven so this is friday this is the third day so you see i will see them because they are him he'll be carrying one of those torches and i was hoping i could come here and say goodbye to him but what you just did there just a second ago that's gonna get in the way of me saying goodbye to him or something, so maybe I should just go look for another yard. No, I, I, I'm real no. sorry I did yeah. that. I, I don't know what happened. Well, I do. I'm just I know not what the kind of person that usually does things like that. Maybe just consider what I did a, a warm main welcome or something. You know what? I'm just gonna get out of your way and you do what you have to do. All right? All right. All right. Hey. Thank you for letting me stay here and do this. I really appreciate it. Sure. Sorry about all of that. Um, I'm Glory. My name's Glory. Hi, Glory. I'm Hi. East. What? My name's East for Easton. It's the, the name of the town a little ways that way where I was born. There was a mistake on the birth certificate. 
a son, Easton, born on this sixth day of January in the town of Matthew, Maine, instead of the other way around. Oh, <laughs> well, happy birthday a few weeks late. Thanks. So, Easton. Yeah. Yeah, I passed through near there on my way here. And by the way, where is here? Where am I? I can't find it anywhere on my map. Um, almost. What? You're in unorganized territory, Township 13, Range 7. It's not going to be on your map, because technically it's not a town. W what do you mean? See, to be a town, you got to get organized, and we never got around to getting organized. So we're just almost. Oh, okay. All right, like I said, holler if you need anything. All right. What? What's wrong? My heart! Your what? My heart! What? My heart! It's in that bag! It's in this bag? Yes, please! Give it back to me now! Okay. I'm sorry. Did you just say that your heart is in that bag? Is that what you just yeah. said? Yeah. It's heavy. I guess. Why is it in that bag? It's how I carry it around. Why? It's broken. What happened? Wes broke it. Your husband? He went away with someone else. Oh. Yeah, and when he did that, I felt like my heart would break. And that's exactly what happened. It broke hard enough and cracked in two. It hurt so bad that I had to go to the hospital. And when I got there, they told me they were going to have to take it out. And when they took it out, they dropped it on the floor and it broke into 19 pieces. Slate. It turned to slate. Great for roofing. How do you breathe? What? If your heart is in that bag, how are you alive? Artificial. Really? Yeah, and there's always a shortage of real hearts for transplants, so I got an artificial one. Oh. So, why do you still have this one? It's my heart. But it's broken. Well, I don't really usually carry it around with me, but since it's the one that loved Wes, I figured I might bring it with me since it's the one that loved him. But, I don't know. But it's broken. I know. I really don't want to get into because it. Because of him. I don't want to get into it. Because he left I you. I really don't want to talk about Why it. Why are you paying your respects to him if he left you? Because that's what you do when a person dies. You pay them respects. But he left you. Yeah, but... And it seems to me that a man who leaves somebody doesn't deserve any respects. Well, I just didn't leave things well with him. What do you mean? And I need to apologize. For what? Because. Because why? Because I killed him! Oh. Yeah, and I need to apologize to him. See, I was over a year from my recovery from when they put my artificial heart in, and I was all better. I was doing almost half the things I used to be able to do. And then Wes just shows up at my place one day and says he wants me back. And I said, Wes, I'm sorry. I have a new heart now. It doesn't want you back. And that just killed him. Oh. But it didn't kill him. You didn't kill him. Well, yeah, I kind of did. Because he got so sad that my new heart didn't want him back. So he just ran out of the house and tore out onto the street. And a bus was coming, and it didn't see him, and he didn't see it. And if I had been able to take him back... Hey. He would have been taken out like that. Glory. And just been taken out like that. And I was just... I'm hoping to come here and say goodbye to him in my own private way, not as his sad ex-wife at a big public service, but just privately, you know? And, 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 oh, I'm so sorry. Don't be, I love you. What? No, that's impossible. It's not impossible. Well, don't. Why? Because I won't be able to love you back. I already have a new heart now that can pump my blood and... That's all. It, the other stuff doesn't work anymore. Just let me have this. What? No! It's broken. It's no Please good Please give luck. it back. It's I my heart. I can fix it. Yes, it is. And I can fix it. I'm a repair man. I repair things. It's what I do. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, they're so beautiful. Uh, uh, oh, Wes! Wes, goodbye. 
Goodbye, Wes. I'm so sorry. Goodbye, Wes. Saying dream? Uh, Jimmy! Hey! Hi. Hey! Hi. Hey! Uh, so, um, how you been doing? Been doing pretty good. How are you? Oh, I'm I'm good. I'm good. Uh, how are you? Good. Great. How are you? Oh, I'm great. I'm great. Uh, how have you been? Great. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Uh, that's Great. You look great. Oh, uh, you, you do. Thanks. You you look thanks. so great. Uh, so um, you want to have a seat or? Uh, no, I really can't. Oh come on! I I haven't seen you in, well, months. Yeah. And months 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 and months. How's that happen? You you live in the same town as someone and never see them? I don't know. I mean. I haven't seen you since that night before that morning when I woke up and you were just gone. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you two tucked away in a corner over here. Lucky I found you, but I did. I found you. So, is the man and his lovely lady ready for another round? Oh, no, yeah. we're not together. Well, well, we used to be. We're all set. Thanks. Well, don't you want a drink? All set. Okay, yeah, we're, we're good, thanks. Okay, well, if you need anything, just holler. Thanks. No, really, you gotta holler. It's busy up front. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you here with anybody, or? Uh... Yeah, uh, the girls. Oh. Yeah, um, girls and I were in the front. Actually, I just had to use the ladies' room, so I should probably get back to them. <laughs> no, they'll survive without you for a minute or two. So, uh, here, uh, what you been up to? Uh, what you been doing? Well, I... Did you hear I took over my dad's business? Yeah, I heard I'm that. I'm running it. Heard I that. run it now. Running the business. The whole shebang. Good yeah. For you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, we still do heating and cooling. Yeah. And we do rugs now. We shampoo them. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm on call. It's a lot of work, huh? Because, you know, your heat goes out, people die, it's, it's serious. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm on call for weekends and holidays because, you know, I let the guys who work for me, like East, helps with repairs sometimes. I let them have the weekends and holidays off, you know, spin with their families since I'm all alone this year. Oh. Yeah, my brother and sister got canned, so they left town. Yeah, I heard about that. And then mom and dad retired, headed south. Oh. Vermont. Oh. Yeah, the winters there are a lot easier. Um, and then, I, I don't know if you heard, but then Spot went and died on me. Oh, Jimmy, I hadn't heard that. Yeah, yeah it, it's okay. Uh, he was old. It, it was his time. He was a good fish, though. But, but anyhow, um, s since I'm all alone this year, I, I was wondering... Uh, uh, would you like to come over? We can catch up, hang out. It'll be fun. Uh, oh, and I forgot to tell you, Friday night special at the Moose Patty. Drinks are free if you're sad, so if you're sad or if you two little lovebirds are ready for another round, you just let me know, all right? No, yeah, not. sure. Thanks. <laughs> all right. Okay. So, uh, what do you say? Uh, come over for, for fun? No, Jimmy, I really can't. Nah. Yeah, um, yeah, Jimmy, I really need to go, because, you see, um, gosh, I've been meaning to tell you this for a while now, uh, there's a guy, Jimmy, I've, I've got a guy. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, 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 good, good for you, uh, getting yourself out there, moving on. Um, well, actually, Jimmy, it's more than me just getting myself back out there and moving on, um, this is my bachelorette party. I'm getting married. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that's... 
I, I, I thought you said you weren't going to do that. I thought, I thought you said it wasn't for you. I guess it just wasn't for you with me. So, so, so who's the lucky guy? Uh, Martin the Farrier. Oh, you know him. Yeah, the, the ranger guy in Ashland. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's a legend. Uh, legendary, I mean. If you're lost out there, he's the guy you want looking for you. Yeah. I mean, if you're out there in this big, bad northern world, Martin the Furrier is the guy to find you. Yeah. And he found you. Uh, listen, Jenny, I'm sorry I never told you. I thought you would have known. I kind of thought you would have heard. But how would I have heard? Well, you know, people talk. <laughs> Not about things they know you don't want to hear about, and... I gotta be honest, I, I did not want to hear about that. So when's the big event? Uh, tomorrow. Really? Yeah. Well then. Hey! Get in our waitress, she said to holler. Hey! What's her name? I don't know, she's new here. Hey! What are you doing? Well, we got to celebrate! You got found, and you deserve it. He's quite a guy. Oh, Jimmy. And you're quite a girl, a female, woman, person. Oh. Hey! What? Hey! What? Well, hey, what's that? What? That. Uh, n nothing. A tattoo. Well, hey! Look at that! When you left. Hey! Well, what's it of? What's it say? Nothing, nothing. Hey! A villain? Villain. Who's villain? Villain. It's supposed to say villain. Well, it doesn't say villain. It says villain. I know. I spelled it wrong. What? They, they, they spelled it wrong. It says villain, but it's supposed to say villain. Well, why would you want a tattoo that says villain? Just, just cause. Just. Cause why? Just cause? Just cause why? Just cause! When a guy has a girl like you, when, when a guy loses a girl like you, when, when a guy drives a girl like you away, Jimmy, you didn't drive well, me away. it's just plain criminal. It's villainy. So I, I punished myself. I marked myself a villain so women would know to stay away and I'd never have to go through what I went through with you again. Can I kiss you? Uh, no. Hey, I said no. Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, listen, I got ahead. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Sandrine? Yeah? I, I'm glad you got found. Thanks. Hey, sorry, you were waving me down. I saw you, but it's so busy up front. There's this bachelorette party. Those girls. Good thing it's not drink for free if you're glad, because those girls are wicked glad. But what can I do for you? Another bud? No, I I'm good, thanks. Oh, pal. Um, well, remember, Moose Patty special? Drinks are free if you're sad. Just tell me you're sad and you'll drink free. Just say the word, let me know. Cause I know from sad and you're looking pretty sad. All right, well, my name's Villian if you need anything. Just ask for Villian. Wait, wait, Villian? Yeah. Villian? Yeah. Uh, I I'm not sad, I just would like another bud. All right. Villian? Yeah. I'm glad you found me. Aw, I'm glad you found me. That's adorable.
my gosh, oh my gosh, are, are you okay? I, are, are you hurt? No. Oh, are you, are you sure? I, I can't believe I just did that to you. I wasn't even paying attention. Are you okay? Yep. Oh, where did I get you? In the head. In the head? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Come here. Are you sure you're okay? Is there any blood? No. Any discoloration? No. Then I'm okay. Well, I'm gonna go eat some ice. No, I can't feel things like that. Like what? Like when I get smashed in the head with an ironing board. I don't get hurt. What? I can't feel pain. Oh, what the heck have I done to you? Nothing. Listen to you going on about not being able to feel pain. It's delusional. I've knocked the sense right out of you. No, I'm good. Shh, listen, I was going to be a nurse, so I know when you get hit in the head, it can be serious. No, it's not serious, because see, ironing boards are not on my list of things that can hurt you. Plus, there was no blood or discoloration from where I got hit, so I'm okay. What is this? And plus, my list is pretty reliable. See, I can prove it to you, because my brother Rob's helping me make it. And I bet if I took this ironing board, like this, and hit you with it, it wouldn't hurt. See, that didn't hurt. God! Oh, are you okay? Gosh, why'd you do that? It hurt, didn't it? How? See, I didn't think it would because, see, ironing boards are not on my list of things that can hurt you. But maybe they should be because... What are you talking about? I have a list of things that can hurt you and ironing boards aren't on it. Well, the ironing board hurt me. Yeah? So maybe you should add it to your list. Yeah. Should I be afraid of ironing boards? Well, if someone whams you in the head with it, yeah. So I should be afraid of them? N no, not really. No? No, you really shouldn't be afraid of ironing boards. But they can hurt you? Yes. So I should be afraid of them? No. So I shouldn't be afraid of them? Right. But they can hurt me? Well, if someone used it the way you used it, yeah. Oh, so they're kind of like the opposite of God. What? Well, ironing boards can hurt me, but I shouldn't fear them. But God, my brother Rob says, God won't hurt me, but I should fear him. I guess. Boy, this is getting very complicated. What is? The business of learning what hurts, what doesn't hurt, what to be afraid of, what not to be afraid of. Are, are you sure you're okay? You're going on about crazy stuff. Oh, yeah. And... I have congenital analgesia, he thinks. Some people- What? Congenital analgesia. Who thinks? My brother Rob. Some people call it congenital insensitivity to pain, but it all just means I can't feel pain. You can hit me if you want to see. No. Go ahead, it won't hurt. See? Ow! See? Ow! See? Ow! Go ahead! No! Go ahead! No! Come on! No! Come on! No! Okay, you don't have to. Most people don't. Hit me. Most people just go away. You can go away too if you want. That's what most people do. My brother Rob says I shouldn't tell people about myself because I scare them. So I have recently put myself on the list of things to be afraid of. But I don't think he knows I did that. Oh! Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry! I just clocked you! You hit me! Most people go away, but you hit me! I'm sorry. I just had to see if it was true. But are you okay? N yeah, I can't feel pain. Right. Can't feel pain. But are you sure? Well, is there any blood? No. Any discoloration? No. Then I'm okay. Well, you know, you can be hurt and not be bloody or bruised. But... Listen, there are some things that hurt you that make you bloody and bruised, and there are other things that don't hurt you, or that, that do hurt you that don't make you bloody and bruised. But they all hurt. Hi, my name is Marvelin. Hi, Marvelin. I'm Steve. Hi, Steve. I just moved in, so I don't really know many people around here. What room are you in? Room three, second floor. Oh, we're in room seven, third floor. Yeah, you're right above us. We saw you and your husband move in recently. Oh, he's not my husband. He's just my boyfriend, Eric. Oh. Yeah, we're just here so we can get our feet back on the ground. Our roof collapsed back in December from all the snow. Well, that's great, because that's what Ma Dudley says are boarding houses. A place for people to get their feet back on the ground. My brother Rob says we've been trying to get our feet back on the ground our whole lives. Oh. Yeah, it takes some people longer to do than others. Yeah. 
You guys are loud. Huh? You and Eric, you yell and holler all the time. We're right below you. Oh, sorry about that. We're, we're kind of going through a rough patch right now. It happens. Sorry. What's it, what's it like? What's what like? To not feel pain. I don't know. I don't know what it's like to hurt, so I don't know. Were you born with it? Yeah, I don't have fully developed pain sensors, he says, and they're immature. How, do you, how does he know? Oh, he reads. And because they're immature, my development ha as a human being has been retarded. But he teaches me what hurts, though. Why? So I won't ruin myself. I have to know what hurts so I know when to be afraid. See, my mind can't tell me when to be afraid because my body doesn't know what it's like to hurt. So I have to memorize things that might hurt. Okay, makes sense. And I also have to memorize things to be afraid of. Things like bears and guns and knives and fire and fear. I should fear fear itself. And pretty girls. Pretty girls? Yeah. Why should you be afraid of pretty girls? Because my brother Rob says they make you love them. And that's something I'm supposed to be afraid of too. Love. What? But he says I'm real lucky because I'll probably never have to deal with love. Because of uh, all of my deficiencies and not very many capacities as a result of my congenital analgesia. What do you mean, never have to deal with love? Why? Because I'm never going to know what it feels like. How does he know? Because it hurts. It shouldn't. And plus, I have a lot of deficiencies and not very many capacities. Well, you know, a, a lot of people do, and... I'm, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. Are, are you okay? Well, is there any blood? <laughs> no. Any discoloration? No. Then I'm okay, I think. Yeah, you, you are. It's just, you're so sweet and... But you have a boyfriend. Yes. Eric. Yes. And you're his girlfriend, right? Yes, I, I am. And if you're his girlfriend and he's your boyfriend, you must love each other, right? Yes, we do, very much. But you just kissed me, right? Yeah, I did. And you're doing your laundry on a Friday night. I am. And... People who love each other, they don't do their laundry on Friday night or kiss other people. I've learned that people who love each other, they go to the moose patty or they go skating or they go dancing. They kiss each other and they don't do their laundry on a Friday night. You know what I think? I think you and your boyfriend don't actually love each other. You know what? I gotta go. Yep, you gotta go. No, it's just that he doesn't like it if I'm down here longer than I said I'd be. Who? My boyfriend. Eric. Yes. Who you love. Yes. Very much. Yes. Even though you just kissed me. Yes. Boy, I'm going to have to talk to my brother Rob about this. No, don't talk to your brother Rob about this. And tell him to stop teaching you. Tell him to stop teaching me what? Whatever he's teaching you. It's not something you want to know. But I have to learn from him. <laughs> Listen, I was going to be a nurse, so I know that you need to go to a doctor and not have your brother read whatever he reads. But I have to learn from him. You know what? I got to go. Yep, that's what everyone does. Leaves. Oh my ah. gosh! Oh, I, I'm so sorry! Are you okay? I can't ah. do this to you again! Wait, what did you say? Ow. Wendell! Wendell! Huh? Wendell! Hey, I need to talk to you. Uh, uh, okay, uh, are you okay? I thought you weren't coming over tonight because of Sandrine's bachelor. Wendell! Party. Hey, are you okay? Shh. Wendell! I want it back! Huh? I want it back! Uh, what do you want back? All the love I gave to you? I want it back. What? Now! Uh, I, I don't understand. I don't really I've got understand. yours in the car. Uh, uh, um, I really don't understand what you're talking about here. All the love you gave me, it's in the car. Yeah, you said that. I... I don't want it anymore. What? I made a decision. We're done. What? 
we're done. I've decided. And so the right thing to do is just give back the love we gave each other and call it, you know, move on. Well, I don't know that I want it back. Well, I don't want it. What am I supposed to do with it now that I don't want well, it? Well, I don't know. Well, under the circumstances, uh, under what it doesn't circumstances? seem right for me to keep it, so Gail, I'm going to give it what back. what are you talking about? What are you going on about? I told you, all the love that you gave me, I'm giving it back to you. Well, I don't know if I want it back. Whoa, whoa you, you need help? Nope, I got it. It's not heavy. And, and this is... All the love you gave to me, yeah. Wow, uh, that's, that's a lot. Yeah. A whole lot. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if I have the room for this. Well, I guess you're going to have to make room for it, won't you? Now... It's only fair for you to give me my love back because I want it back. All the love you gave me, yeah, I want it back. So go get it. Lendl, go get it. Please. Now. Uh, uh, okay, okay. What is that? What do you mean? It's all the love you gave me. That, that is not all the love. That is not all the love you gave me. That is not. Is that all the love I gave you? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Why don't you open it and see what's inside? <gasps> hey, 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 you okay? I told you, we're done. Why do you keep saying that? Because, when I asked you if you thought we were ever going to get married, remember when I asked you that? In December, it was snowing. Yeah, yeah, I remember. And you got so quiet, and everybody said that that right there should have told me something. Uh, everybody? Everybody who? Everybody! Who? Marvelin said... Marvelin said... Yes, Marvelin! Marvelin! Like, she's an expert! Yes, Marvelin said that how quiet you got set should have told me that you don't love me and she's right you don't love me what gail that's not true <laughs> and i've been trying to fix that by giving you all the love that i possibly had and now i don't have any love left for myself and that's not good for a person so i want it back because i want to bring it with me well, where are you going i i need to get away from things things what Things! There are no things in this town to get away from! Yes, there are! You! Me? Yes, you are the things in this town that I need to get away from because I need to think and start over. And so, I want all- I think we should just give back all the love we gave each other and, you know, I want to take it with me. Because I can't go around giving other guys your love other because that's guys? not right! What other guys? They're not yet, but- I'm assuming there will be. Gail! And so, you know, since you're not ready to do what comes next for people that have been together for a very long time, like, get married, I think we're done. Wh why, Gail? And so I think the right thing we can do is just give back the love we gave each other and call it... even. Oh gosh, is this really all the love I gave you? This is not all the love. This is not all the love I gave you. Where's all the love I gave you? It's there. Did you lose it? What? Gail, no, I Did didn't Did you lose, lose it, it Lendl? I think you're pulling something on me. You better not be pulling something on me. What? Gail, I would not pull something on you. I, I wouldn't do that to you. I, I just think you should take what you came for and I guess I'll see you later. Lendl! Wait, Lendl! This is not all the love I gave you! Where is it, Lendl? What is this? It's a ring, Gail. What? It's a ring. 
Oh, well, this is not all the love I gave you. This is... Oh, this is a ring. Is, is this a ring? A ring that you give to someone that you've been with for a very long time and want to take the next step for people that have been together for a very long time? Yep. Oh, well, where's all the love I gave you? It, it's there. No, this can't it's be right all of there. it. It's right there. But there's no way. It is. It's right there. It's all in there. You, you've given me so much over the years. Eleven. Uh, eleven years. Yeah, eleven well, years. Well, you've given me so much that I was beginning to run out of room. I mean, I put some in the garage and there's some in the shed. But after you asked me if we were ever going to get married, there was more of it than ever coming in. So I asked my dad what to do about it. And he said, you got a ring yet? And I said, no. And he said, get her one. When there's that much of that stuff coming in, it's time. He said it all fit. And he was right. That thing's a lot bigger than it looks. So there's all the love you ever gave me, just not in the same form as when you gave it. Yeah. So you still want it? Yes, I, I, I do. Then take it. Can I keep all that? It's yours, isn't it? Thank you. Oh, oh, Lendl, you didn't have to get me a ring. That's not what I was asking for. Yes, I did. It, it's way past time, and besides, it's honorable. Well, it's very beautiful. Oh, Lendl, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was just at Sandrine's bachelorette party and, and it just, her and Martin are already getting married and it just got me thinking about us. And she said that how quiet you got was a red flag. And I know, I know, I know. Shell. No, it was bad. No, you're not listening because real bad. Historical bad. I'm trying to tell you that I had a pretty bad time myself. No, there's no way. It was pretty bad. Really? Yeah. All right then. Go. Let's hear it. He said he didn't like the way I smelled. What? Todd told me he didn't like the way I smelled. Todd Dunlovey told you he didn't like the way you smelled. Yeah. When? Okay, so I got in his truck and we were backing up my driveway. And all of a sudden he starts hyper, hyper, hyper. Ventilating, ventilating, ventilating. yeah. And then he says he's sorry, but he can't go out with me anymore because he doesn't like the way I smelled. Never has. Never has? When's he smelled you before? I don't know, around town or whatever. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't mind the way you smell. Thanks. In fact, I think you smell great. Thanks. Anyways, he said he'd come and pick his truck up tomorrow, but if I wouldn't mind, please rolling down the windows so it, would, it could air out overnight. There's nothing to air out! I know! Todd has issues. Yeah. <sighs> Told you it was bad. Yeah, a little sad too. Yeah, so I'm guessing that I win, so I get to pick what we do tomorrow, and I pick bowling. Bowling at the bowling, then supper at the snowmobile club, couple of beers with Moose Patty, just hang out. Did I say you're the big winner? 
No, but there's no way you can beat being told you smell bad. I didn't say you're the big winner. What? You didn't win. You can beat being told you smell bad? Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Well then, let's hear it. Mine's face broke. Face <sighs> broke, yeah. How did, how did his face break? When we were dancing. Dancing? <laughs> Darren Lemons took you dancing? Yeah. Down at the rec center? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Must have been fun. Yeah, it was. Till his face broke. What happened? So we did the thing where you pay, you take dancing lessons all night. They teach you together dancing, you know, how to dance together. Oh, that's nice. That's fun. Yeah, and... They did the thing where you throw the girl up and over, right? And Todd just wasn't having, he was having a hard time figuring out his part. And, you know, I thought maybe once over, if we switched, I did his part, he did mine, then he would get his part better, you know? But Todd's just a little, little guy. He, he is, isn't he? Yeah, he sounds a lot taller on the phone. He does. Yeah, but anyway. So we switched parts, I did his part, he did mine, and I'm pretty strong, and he's just a little, little guy, and when I went to go throw him up and over, I, 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 I threw him over, over, and he landed on his face, and it broke. Ocular orbital bone fracture. I had to take him to the hospital. Now that's a drive. 38 miles. Yep. And he cried Ugh. the whole way. Even asked me to call his mom to come get him. Seriously? Yeah, and she did. Asked me to please leave. Oh, Dean, I'm sorry. It's okay. He was a lousy dancer anyways. Most of them are. Yeah. So I think you win. Oh, yeah. There's no questions. No questions asked at all. Mm -mm. You know, that make make you the baddest date girl of all time. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. So, what do you pick tomorrow? Hmm. How about bowling? Sup with the snowmobile club? Couple of beers through Miss Patty? Just hang out. Sounds good. Oh, Dina. What? I don't know. It's just, you know, I don't know why I do it. You know, go out. I mean, I know why. It's because you gotta go out, but, you know... I'm going out, and nothing's really coming out of it, you know? And I just feel like I'm running out of chances. Oh, don't say that. Don't say and, that. And lately, I've been feeling like, why I even do it? I mean, I don't like it. I hate it. And, you know, why do I want to spend my Friday nights hanging out with some guy I might maybe like? When I could be hanging out with someone I know I like. Like you, you know? Yeah. And, you know, that was rough tonight in the middle of Todd telling me he doesn't like the way I smelled. I mean... He doesn't smell that great either. Not many of them do. Yeah, and you know, I just got so sad. Oh, but it wasn't you. I, I know, I know, and, and, and then I kind of came out of feeling sad and, and, and realized that there's got to be something out there in the world that, that doesn't, that makes you feel good, you know, and, and that does make sense in the world at this stage of the game, and, and, and then I realized that there is something out there. It's, it's you, Dina. It's always been you. Huh? <sighs> Nothing. Well, Shell, um, I, I think I'm gonna head out. You know, the cats have been lonely lately. Well, I just gotta go into the mill early tomorrow, just to resolve a few maintenance issues. Sh I should be done around 12. I can pick you up around lunchtime. Oh, I don't know. I've got a pretty busy day tomorrow. Oh, they got the craft fair going on at church tomorrow. Maybe we could hit that up before bowling. Oh, I don't know. I've got to get up the crack and crack to open the salon tomorrow. We're doing Sandrine St. Pierre's wedding tomorrow, and I've got to do the bride's hair, the bridesmaid's hair, the makeup, all the nails, and I don't know if I'm going to be up for anything afterwards. Well, I'll pick you up whenever you're done, like we planned. Oh, I don't know, because we might have to do touch-ups for the wedding pictures, so I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'll be, I'll be ready whenever you want me to come pick you up. Hey, hey, hey. How, how about we wait a while and see when we both have the time and we'll make a plan, okay? Well, the craft fair is only this weekend, so... Hey, hey, Shell, you know what? I'm gonna head.
Okay. 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 Bye. Bye. Hey, Dina. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, are are you okay? <laughs> uh, yeah. No. <sighs> um, what just what just happened there? I don't know. I just I just fell. Well, yeah, I know. I saw. Whoa. <sighs> What are you doing? Come on, get up! <laughs> no, I'll just fall down again. I'll, I'll just mess up. Shell, I don't really know what you're going on about or what you're saying here, but you know, you're my best friend. Yeah? And that's... I love that. I mean, most of the time, you're about the only thing that makes me feel like I'm not going to be that crazy cat lady when I get older, you know? And you're about the only thing that makes sense most of the time, you know? We're friends. Yeah. <laughs> Best friends. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it still feels like you're mad. I'm not mad. But I just you were. Said I you wish you'd are. More you're mad. I'm not mad. I was having fun, I thought. I had fun tonight. Did you? Yeah. Good. I mean, I was late because Shelly called me in. I had to work. I need the hours. You had to work. I get it. What are so, you doing? So where's my shoe? What? Where's my shoe? I can't find it. Well, it's got to be around here somewhere. Where is it? Is this you being funny? No. Because it's not funny. I never said it was. It's cold out here. Well, you're the one that wanted to go skating. No. Mars, just let it go. Skating, I thought it would be fun. You know, get us away from the kids. Get us back to where we used to be. We went skating the first time you kissed me on a Friday night, just like this one. Echo Pond. I know where we are. Where the heck is your shoe? Maybe it's, maybe it's in the car. It's not in the car. Did you take your shoe off out here or in the car? Where'd you take it off at? I put them on with you, right here. Well, it's not in the car. Oh, sh shooting star, Wh shooting where, star. Where, where, sh where? I'm wishing, I'm wishing. I missed it. Yeah, you did. What's that supposed to mean? No, nothing. It's just not really all that surprising. What? That you didn't see it. What? The shooting star. What? You don't pay attention, Phil. See, when you say things like that, I feel like you're still mad. I'm not mad, Phil. Mars, what's going on? Nothing, I'm not... Mars, where is my shoe? Maybe it is in the car. It's not in the car. I mean, I wouldn't put on one shoe on in the car and the other one on out here. I mean... It's not in the car. But, Phil, what's wrong? Oh, uh, uh, I'm just making a wish of my own on a regular one. Oh. Want to wish on it with me? Yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. Which one? Um, see Hedgehog Mountain? Uh-huh. Straight up, right above it. The bright one? Yep. That one? Yep. Phil. Yeah? That's a planet. What? That's a planet. You're wishing on a planet. That's a planet? Yeah. How do you know? And it's when you wish upon a star, not when you wish upon a planet. I know, I know. How Saturn. do you know? It's said on the weather, Phil. Saturn's the brightest object in the sky this month, and it'll be sitting right above Hedgehog Mountain over the next bunch of weeks. And your wish is never going to come true if you're wishing it on a planet. Well... You gotta pay attention. Why do you keep saying that? What? That I gotta pay attention. Cause you don't. What are you talking about? Phil, happy anniversary. Huh? Happy anniversary. That's what I'm talking about. I'm... I'm sorry. I knew you were mad. I'm not mad, Phil! You're mad at me and pretty soon out of nowhere it's gonna get ugly. I mean, Mars, I'm sorry. I know I missed some things, but... 
I gotta work. I gotta take a double when Shelly calls me. She's helping me, us out, you know? I know, I know. No, you don't know. Me is working is for the kids and us. And it's a lot sometimes and it messes me up. I'm not mad about you working, Phil. I understand that. What I don't understand is why I'm lonely, Phil. I've got a husband and a couple of great kids, and I'm lonely. You just, you don't pay attention anymore. You go away, and I don't know where you go, but you go somewhere where you can't pay attention, and you miss your son's first varsity hockey game. Hockey equipment costs money. Birthday, and you forget your anniversary. I mean, I brought you here hoping you'd remember about us, but you didn't. And that makes me so mad I don't know what to do anymore. You lie. What? You lie so bad. What? You say you're not mad even though you clearly are. I'm not mad. Yes, you are. And now you don't even know how to tell me what you feel like about me, so I never know where I am, where I stand. Maybe that's why I go away, so I know where I am for a second. And you know what? It's lonely there too, and you sent me there. And now, all you do is lie. I don't lie! Yes, you do. You say, you had fun, but you didn't. You say, you're not mad, but you are. And let me guess, you didn't have fun at all tonight, did you? No. But you kept saying you did. No, I didn't have fun tonight, Phil. I don't have fun with you anymore. Did you? No, I had a rotten, lousy time. Well then, what are we waiting for? Hello. I know this isn't going to be very easy, but well, I was just out there all alone in the world and I got so scared because I thought, well, I thought I have no place in this world, but then out of nowhere, I realized that I do have one place in this world and that was with you. So I flew and I took a taxi to get to you and I just had to come see you. I... Oh. Oh, I am so sorry. I... Well, this is the house. I'm so sorry. I'm looking for Daniel Harding. Do you know Daniel Harding? You're looking for looking Daniel. Looking for Daniel Harding. Yeah, well, he lived here, I thought. Oh. Oh, he doesn't, does he? Oh, I am so embarrassed. <laughs> Who is this woman and what is she doing here? I, I just honestly thought he'd be here. I always thought he'd be here. Always. Do you know him? A, a big guy, big, strong guy wrestled heavyweight all eastern maine do you know him he played hockey too well as oh, a matter don't of even answer that that was such a horrible question to oh i can't believe i asked you that i i don't live here anymore but when i did oh i hated it when people assumed that i knew everyone in town just because it was small it was even worse when they said you got plumbing way up there because i mean you really don't know people any better in a big town than you do in a small town but you know that. You know who you know, and you don't know who you don't know. It's just like anywhere else. I'm so sorry to have bothered you. It's just that, well, when his parents kept the house, he, he stayed here, I thought. He lived here, I thought. He was one of the ones who stayed. I didn't stay. I went away. Most people do. Yeah, and well, I guess he did too. Wish there was something you could keep him in for when you really need him. <laughs> well, look, here he is. <sighs> Boy, it's cold. Yeah? I'm so sorry. I just, I can't believe I took a taxi here 
all the way from Bangor just just to see him. That's far. Yeah. That's 163 miles. Yeah, well, I, I guess this place is a little farther from things than I remember. Why'd you do that? Well, because I could only get a plane as close as Bangor, and I had to see him as soon as possible. Why? Well, the last time I saw him, he asked me a very important question, and, well, I didn't answer him, and that's, that's not a very nice thing you do to a person. Don't you think you're being a little too he hard on He asked me to marry him. Oh. Yeah. And, and, well, I didn't answer him, and, well, that's why I'm here, to answer him. I, I mean, I didn't answer him in the first place because well, I didn't really have an answer in the first place. I was leaving for college, and, and, well, the night before I'm about to go off into the world and do what I hope and dream, he asked me, will you marry me? I mean, come on, I was leaving in the morning. What was I supposed to say? I don't know. I mean, well, I, I mean, I told him that I would, I would think about it. I'd have to think it overnight, and then I'd be back in the morning before the sun came up, and then... And then I left him standing right there. And I didn't make it back before the sun came up, or at all. That sounds like an answer to me. No, 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 that's not my answer. I, well, I just went off into the world and I, well, that's not an answer. And I just, I think that. What? Well, I think he thought I'd say yes. Well, a guy's probably not gonna ask a girl that question unless he knows she's gonna say yes. Yeah, I know. and. I'm afraid that he waited here all night, hoping for me to come by, and, well, I, I just want to tell him that I know that's not a very nice thing you do to a person. I know that you can't just not answer a question, especially a question like the one he asked me. I mean, you can't do that to a person. You can't do that to someone you love, and... You loved him? Well, I mean, I... I don't know. We were, we were just kids, and... Yeah. Yeah, I did. I still do. I just, I feel like I dashed his hopes and dreams. Oh, come on. You give yourself too much credit. He was young and that's all you need to get your hopes and dreams dashed. Be young. And everyone starts off young, so everyone gets their hopes and dreams dashed. And besides, I don't think you really dashed his hopes and dreams. Because dashing someone's dreams is like the quick way. It hurts, but at least it's over shortly. If you would have had said no, that would have been dashing his hopes and dreams. But you didn't say no. You didn't say anything at all. You just left the man standing there. And that's killing hope. The long, slow, painful way. Because it's still there, just hanging on. Never really goes anywhere. It's like giving someone a little less air to breathe every day till they die. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, well, thank you. For what? Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> Goodbye, Hope. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. It's just that I, I was out there all alone and I got... <laughs> Wait. You don't know my name. How, how did you know my name? Danny? Hello, Hope. Danny, I didn't even. I know. Well, I didn't even. I, know. I didn't even recognize I know. you. You're so. I know. You're so slim. Yeah, I uh, lost a lot of hope. That'll do a real number on you. Danny, I'm so sorry. I never it's came back. It's it's okay, cause you know what? You're early. You'd say you'd be back before the sun came up, and wouldn't you know it? The sun went down a few minutes ago. You're early. That's, that's good for you. Yeah. So a uh, taxi all the way from Bangor. Yep. To tell me. Honey, well, Dan, hon, who's there? Just somebody needs directions. It's awful late for directions. Yeah, Suzette, listen, I'll be right in. Okay. I. Danny, what? I hope you find it, Hope, your place in this world. Bye. Bye, Danny. Yes?
Yes. This is it. You're in. You're inside. This is the porch. It's winterized. Okay, well, um, this here, um, this, I got this for you is, um, well, it, it's, 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 boy, that, that was fun tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, 20 miles out there. Yeah. Beans and Franks at the Snowmobile Club. Yeah. 20 miles back, couple of beers at the Moose Patty. Awesome. And boy, you you flew on your new sled. It's a Polaris, man. Yeah, I, I know. You whooped my butt. Yeah, that's what you get for riding an Arctic cat. You get your butt whooped, and I whooped it. Oh, I know. Whooped your butt. I know. Whooped your butt, Arctic I Cat, know. man. I whooped your butt. I know, I know. I'm not saying you didn't. You know, you're never going to beat the Snowmobiler Association Snowmobiler of the Month. I know, I know. That was fun. So, this, um, this present I have for you is, um, well, we, we've been together together for, well I, I, what are you talking I, about together i just mean we've been friends for a long yeah, time so? now well and well um here together what are you doing here bud just open it i don't know about this come on just open it what is it what what do you mean what is it can't can't you see what it is picture yeah a painting yeah well, where'd you get this it looks homemade what do you mean it looks homemade it looks like someone really painted it well someone really did paint it did you paint this yeah for me yeah oh why? Well, it's just... Uh, I, I mean, thank you. Hey, there you go. Thank you. There you go. That's, that's what people say. You're, you're welcome. So, Dave, I, uh, I didn't know you painted. Yeah, uh, this is... Oh. Yeah, I'm taking this adult ed art class uh, at nights. Merle Haslam over at the high school is teaching it. And this is my version of one of those stare at the thing till you see the thing things. You, you, you ever seen one of those? Well, uh, well um, a lot of the old painters used dots to do it. They, they called it uh, sun, something. But anyhow, I used a bunch of little blocks of colors. And if you just look at the little blocks of colors, it's just a bunch of little blocks of colors. But if you take a step back and look at the whole thing, it's not just a bunch of little blocks of colors. It's a picture of something. A picture of what? Well, I'm not going to tell you. Oh, come on, Dave. No, no, no. It takes time. It can be a little frustrating. Why would you paint something that's going to frustrate? No, no, no. I just mean you can't let it know you're looking at it. That's, that's what will frustrate it. Frustrate what? you. What are you talking about? Uh, you got to look at it without letting it know you're looking at it. Huh? You, you gotta trick it. Trick it? Yeah. Trick it. See? Trick it. You trick it. There you go. There you go. And hopefully eventually you'll see what it is. It's, it's a pretty common thing. It's something everybody knows. Uh, this is stupid. No, I no, don't no. see You're anything. You're doing so good. Okay, here. Try this. Do what you normally do around the house and check it out real casual-like. I usually 
sit and have a bud and talk to you on the phone. Well, all right then. I'll go grab you a bud. No, 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 no. Um, I'm all out of bud. Only got natty light. Well, all right then. I'll go get you a natty light. No, 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 no. We uh, we gotta trick this thing, right? What? See. Ron, no. Okay, I'm, I'm tricking it. Wrong? I'm tricking it. Come on, we do. Tricking we it. Go inside, have some beers, and hang I'm out. I'm tricking it. Rhonda, hey, hey, chicken it. Quit it. I've known you for how many years? I come out here every Friday night, and I, I've never even been inside your house for beers. That's not natural, Rhonda. I don't it's care what it is, okay? Rhonda. Can you so shut your stuff? I'm trying to, thing to trick this thing. And Stop. Go okay, wait, and hey, have hey. Some beers and Stop hang it. Out. You're doing it wrong. Shh. You gotta wait, you wait, gotta wait, trick hey, it. hey, I think I think I got something. Yeah? Yeah. Roadkill. What? Dead roadkill. No, it's not roadkill. Okay, okay. A dead raccoon. Rhonda, no, no, no. It's not a dead raccoon. That's that's obviously not what it is. Okay, okay. A dead deer. A dead bloody what? deer. Rhonda, where are you getting these ideas? It's not a dead okay, deer. Okay, okay, okay. A dead bloody moose in the middle of the road. What? No, Rhonda, it's not a dead bloody moose in the middle of the road. That's not even close to what it is. Okay, okay, that's what I see, okay? I'm trying my hardest. You don't have to get mad. Jeez, I'm crow. You still can't see what it is? No. Well, can I give you a hint? Yeah. What are you doing? What was that? I, I, I was just don't ever do that hint. again, okay? Well, you can't okay, just do I'm, that I'm to so, someone. I'm and sorry, don't I'm, ever I'm so, do okay, it to I'm, me I'm again, sorry, okay? I'm, I'm sorry. Get out! Jeez, I'm crow. Hey, Rhonda! What? I like you. A lot, you know? And, and, I think we ought to be together, or, or go out, or, or something. And, and a lot of other people think so, too. What? I said, a lot of other people think that we ought to be together, or, or go out, or something. Who thinks that? Uh, just some people, a lot of people. Like who? Uh, nobody. Uh, just Suzette. Suzette? And, and Dan. Suzette and Dan Harding think that we ought to be together or go out or something? Yeah. Well, well who else thinks that? Uh, just... Marcy and Phil. Marcy? Marcy and Phil? And and Lyndall and Gail. Lyndall and Gail? And Dina and Shelly. Dina and Shelly? Yeah, and East and Glory and Jimmy and Sandrine. And Sandrine? Yeah, and that's that's just to name a few. Why? Well, well, I, I'm good to those guys. Okay, I, I like those guys. They and they're talking about me behind my back. Why would they do that? That that's mean. No, I I don't think they were doing it to be mean. They they were just telling me to go for it, cause, cause they like you and 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 me, us. They're rooting for us, Rhonda. Who's rooting for us? Everybody, Linda and Gail and Dina and Shelly and Phil and Marcy and Danny and Sandrine and Jimmy. Well, they never told me that they were rooting for well, us. That, that's cause I told them not to tell you, cause, cause I wanted you to find out from me that. I, I'm, I'm just sorry if I'm made you uncomfortable earlier. I, I I just thought you liked me as much as I liked you. I do. Y you do? Yeah. Well, all right then. So, um, can I kiss you? Do you want to be together? Yeah, I guess. Uh, well, well, all right then. So, can I kiss? I, I, 
I would like to kiss you now, if that would be okay. N it's not. Oh, oh, okay. Because, because I don't know how. What? I don't know how. What do you mean you don't know how? I mean, I don't know how. I've never done it before. Why not? Well, I've run every arm wrestling at the Winter Carnival from fifth grade up, and I work at Bushley's Lumber Mill, and that's not really the kind of thing that a guy's gonna want. According to who? Everybody. Well, you got wrong, Rhonda, because there are a lot of guys out there who think you're really pretty. No. Yes, I mean, I, I do. I, I, I think you're pretty. No. So, have you never been with... Oh, so you've never been... Well, um, okay, uh, l let's try, let's try kissing. It, why don't you give me a kiss and, and I promise I won't make fun of you or no, nothing. If no, no, let's, let's just do this. Raspberries? Nope. Cherries? Nope. Strawberry rhubarb pie? Nope. You okay? Yeah, Dave. I see it. I. It's it's really nice. It. You're really good at this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, and you're very good at this. <laughs> I thought it'd be hard, and it's not, at all. Maybe we can do this for a long time, but do something else. Uh, well, wh why don't we go inside? Wait, we're working first shift tomorrow. Says who? You mean call in? We're calling in. Call in, Shelly, because me and you, we're not working first shift or any shift tomorrow. You get yourself inside, Mr. Arctic Catman. All right. Hey, Rhonda.